Behind me is Ponderosa pine. It's in the family Pinaceae, the genus Pinus, and the specific epithet is Ponderosa. So Pinus ponderosa is the species name. This is a western pine, and so we start to see it just partway through Nebraska and then as you go out further west. Let's take a closer look at some of its identifying characteristics. The bark of Ponderosa pine starts out gray and platy and then develops very red sections here. And some people say if you break this, you get either a vanilla or a pineapple scent. It depends upon, I guess, what things smell like to you. These plates, fairly small here on this tree, which is not very big, can develop into quite a bit larger plates. So here we see it's fairly small. This could be quite a bit larger as the tree ages. Ponderosa pine has needles, like most pines, that are attached in groups. With Ponderosa pine, you can find groups of two or three needles on the same branch. Here's an attachment of three needles, all grouped together at the base. And from the same twig or branch, here is a two needle grouping. So you might find two or three needles on Ponderosa pine. Notice at the end of the branch, the needles form, they're quite large, they're dark green and stiff, so they form a really sort of bushy characteristic. Here are the pine cones and the bud. The pine cones are just starting to form, you can see here and here, and then this is the bud, this little white bit of resinous and it's pointed coming out. The cones, when they start to develop and through their entire life will have what's called an armed umbo or this, this sort of thorn or prickle at the very end. Here's a fully mature and open cone and you can still see at the ends this little part here is the umbo and it's armed so it makes uh, the cones a little bit uh, prickly to handle. On some other pine species, like the Austrian pine, which people sometimes confuse Austrian and Ponderosa, the Austrian pine, this little armed portion of the cone, falls off before the cone is fully mature. Here's a Ponderosa pine from a little bit further distance. This one happens to fork maybe about 10 feet off the ground. Typically you'd see a single trunk all the way up, but you might see a fork at some point in the tree. Ponderosa pine are capable of handling fairly harsh conditions in terms of both cold and drought conditions.